All right, quick update. Um, so I have submitted, of course, Time Sports. Um, I'm just waiting for a proof copy to come in. And when it comes in, if it is what I expect and everything comes out the way I want it to, I will set it for sale. And you'll be able to go grab that and have that printed <clears throat> for from Lulu. It is in, uh, so I, I'm doing everything in the same size I did, Dark Age of Man, this comic book size. So you can see something like uh, pen and paper football, right? It's just a little more space to be able to read easily the text and everything for us old farts um, and the charts, things like that. Um, so it's a little, it's just a slightly larger, but it's not so big that it's, uh, you can't easily store it. Um, so the time sports games, fortunately, are going to be paperback Matt. Um, I finished Big Country Football's book version, and initially that only had a hardback option, so I ordered a proof of that. But then I went back in and had to make some changes to the text uh, that I knew I was going to add. And uh, that pushed it up two or three pages, and it turns out it qualifies for Matt paperback. So I have ordered a proof for the final proof of Big Country football the book version so i just want to make it clear um all these games are available free. a version of all these games are available free in pdf from my google drive uh i've made that known and you're free to go get them the versions of these games that are in the books are different there are some of them just in slight ways some of them in fairly significant ways big country football for instance is significantly different um not in its how the engine functions, but in the rating system and in the gameplay, how fast and efficient the gameplay is. So uh, the book versions are the official versions. They're the they're the versions that I intended these games to be. They're the versions that I want to play. They are the versions that I had in, intended the world to embrace. Uh, obviously, they're tabletop, so you can always tweak them and add stuff and, and add mods and do all those things that that people want to do, which is why we love these games, because we can add our own stuff, right? We can take out stuff, add stuff. That's still true. But know that the ones that are going to be in book form only, there will be no PDF of these versions. You will only be able to get these versions of the games in book form. So the new Big Country Football, which is my favorite version, it's the version, again, the official version, it's the version I play. It is the version that I'm playing my little 16 league with. Um, that is the book version, 32 pages, I think, paperback, Matt. Um, and then Time Sports is something like 50 something pages, uh, paperback, Matt. And again, that has five, that has five sports in it. All of them have career modes. All of them have off season modes. You can make teams very quickly and they're designed for 1D6. Um, so I eliminate any extraneous dice in that Time Sports series meant again to get back to the the original design focus of the time games simple fast efficient and didn't require a lot of extraneous stuff uh big country football of course 2d20 with a d6 but this is the version of big country football that is very focused very efficient more streamlined and the ratings now are units so you'll have you have uh, quarterback units, back units, and receiver units. You have defensive line unit, linebacker unit, DB unit. The offensive line, as it was originally intended, is abstract portion of your quarterback, your backs, and your receivers. There is no offensive line unit per se in the original game. This version, all the offensive line is abstracted into the data of the quarterbacks, backs, and receivers. Uh, so it's a slightly different um, um uh team setup right the uh does have the team creation and the off season those are also still available so again i would argue the book version of big country football is the simple version it's the basic version it is the it is the it is the version that it was originally intended to be the free version of big country football is the advanced version with the dfa and the dia and the offensive line units and the support for the pro a 1985 set I've done and the pro, and the uh, pro 1958 set I've done. So that version's free. That is the full blown kind of advanced version for people who want that. The book version of Big Country Football is narrowed down to a tight, fast, efficient game of professional football. 
Um, it is rules written, not with options, but rules written to be played a particular way. So I don't, I don't, uh, so you'll notice in the free version of BCF, I say use whatever timing mechanism you want. And I give some examples of whether you want to use possessions or whatever. Well, big country book, the book version is a set of rules. It tells you how to time the game. Uh, it tells you how to log the game and how to create teams, et cetera, et cetera. It also provides the a, a 10 team fictional uh, league with all those teams rated and ready to play for those who want to grab it and start playing and see how the game works. So those are the official versions of the games. They're the versions that, again, I play. They're the versions that I intended to make. They're what I wanted published. So know that if you get those books, they are different enough to, 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 to be in the books and to be different from what's available free, but they're not necessarily better than what you may be already enjoying of my games, if you enjoy my games, right? Okay, last but not least, this morning, uh, the announcement trailer, I have been working on this for the last week and a half, Big Country Mobster, a little while, a little more than a week and a half, maybe almost almost 10 days, I've been working on Big Country Mobster. I kept it quiet, only Dell knew about it. I hinted to some guys in Discord that I was working on a non-sports solitaire game. And this morning, uh, I'm so close to finishing it. Um, and that will be available in book form and it will be available in PDF. Uh, but remember the time sports and big country football will not be in PDF. There's no reason to, there are already free versions of those available. I'm not going to put those out in PDF. If you want those particular versions, you gotta buy the books. It's kind of a collector's thing and, and it separates them as truly official, right. Of, 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 of the games that I want right out there, uh, for cons uh, you know, for the consumer, I mean, as as a as a as a pay thing, right? Okay. So, Big Country Monster will have a book, uh, but I'll probably put the PDF out as well. So, I will make that available in book because it is going to be. I got to tell you, in making it, I am I am having a blast writing it and designing it. Um, I've got uh, three more territory charts to finish and get uh, into the book. And then I have some final tweaking of all the math for the book. So you're going to be able to get Big Country Football. All you, I mean, Big Country bo uh, uh, Mobster. All you will need is the book, pencil, paper, and one D10. So the big difference between this Big Country game and Big Country Baseball, Big Country Golf, Big Country Boxing is it does not use a D100 percentile. It uses one D10 for everything. So all you need is a D10 for your uh, territory charts. And then you need a D10 for your conflict resolution chart. And uh, then you'll need pencil and paper to, to, to track your mobs, uh, uh, either getting better or getting worse. And to make notes about what happens on the charts that you need to change. So there's a couple of things that are different than big country boxing. For instance, uh, other ratings in the game won't change. So in big country boxing, every boxer's rating after every fight will go up or down, including your own. Well, in big country mobster, the DRs, the, the difficulty rating that you match up your mob rating to, those ratings will never change. But the charts can change. If you achieve, a if you actually have success on a particular chart in a particular slot, that slot can be blanked or that slot can turn into something else. So your mobster affects the territories that he engages in, but he won't affect the difficulty when he comes back and does those again. Or if your mobster dies or ends up in prison, or you just or your, your mobster gets so bad he's run out of town, you'll need to make you can make a new mobster and keep playing. So the some of the charts, chart slots actually change. Some of the charts actually get turned off. So if you eliminate the boss of one of these neighborhoods, that chart literally can get cut off, right? That That's done. There's no going back to that neighborhood. It's wrapped up. So Big Country Mobsters, again, it's going to have a sense of a solo adventure where you're a mobster running your own gang trying to take over Paradise City or just having fun finding out what you can achieve as a mobster in this world. Uh Paradise City is featured in the book, so you won't be going around to other cities. It's just Paradise City. That is the mob-ruled city from my Big Country universe, uh, inspired by the film The Setup, which inspired Big Country Boxing's universe. So this, of course, is focused on Paradise City as you are a young mobster trying to uh, survive, but also 
maybe become the boss of bosses. And that's almost done. I mean, I am this close. I'm hoping this weekend all of it will be written. And then all I have to do is continue the playtesting to tighten up the math on all the charts. It's so important the math is weighted right because we need it to be dangerous and difficult for you to win, to become the dawn of dawns. If not, you're just rolling dice to eventually automatically win. I don't like games where you just roll dice to eventually automatically win, certainly in solo games, uh, because my solo games are almost automated where you're actually witnessing your mob boss and what he's doing. But there are some periods of strategic decision or some choices you get to make to influence the direction your mobster takes today, right, on this turn, this event. But you really are a witness to the mobster you create and his gang, and you play to find out. You play to see what the narrative of this guy's life is, and it'll be fun. I think people will really enjoy it. Uh, it's different. It's not just sports. It's not difficult to play. It's not difficult to process the data. It's not difficult to make sense of the narrative, and you keep going, right? Uh, just like boxing. Um, you just won't have as much administrative work to do. Boxing, of course, if you're if you are changing the boxers for every fight, and if you're even fighting the other boxers in your universe, you're managing or not managing. You are keeping records and data for all those boxers. It can become somewhat uh, overwhelming if if you don't have a good organiza organizational um, notebook, right? If you're not able to organize all that stuff in notebooks and notes. If not, you can use, of course, something like Excel, and it becomes a little easier to do all those things. So anyway, that's where we're at. Big Country Baseball um, and Big Country Golf, as far as I'm concerned, are for the most part done. It's just a matter of making sure all the data is, is available in those PDFs that we need, like the off-season charts for baseball. And the golf game is the one that's probably needs more time as I'm still trying to decide how much I want the courses to affect the golf, golfers to affect the courses or courses to affect the golfers. And I'm still trying to decide what the the swath of sc scoring ranges will be. I like where it's at now. I'm okay with the best possible day being a seven under par. And I'm okay with the worst possible day being just a uh, plus, uh, you know, plus seven over par. Um, I'm okay with the, the, the big country world of golf where, where golfers best possible day is minus seven and their worst possible days of plus seven. So I'm okay with that. Um, but it might not be broad enough, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, the play tests I've done, uh, I've had a blast, and it's so fast. And the fun of it is is rolling up that foursome. I mean, that like the one I've been doing is a nine man go golf uh, universe. Nine golfers, they go out in threesomes. I roll them up at the end of the at the end of the, the nine rolls. I know who's at the top and who's at the bottom, and then of course they earn money. And they split money if they're tied for second or if they're tied for third, they split that money. And over the course of the 10, I get these, I get this, not only who's winning or who's the champion of the season, but how much earnings they have, which is just fun. It's just fun to do. Uh, again, there's no strategy in these. These are solitaire sports games where you play to find out. You roll the dice and you watch what unfolds. You to find out who is the best golfer in your universe. Who is, what is the best baseball team in your universe? Who's the best boxer and can your boxer win the title? And of course, in big country mobster, can you grow your mob and survive, but also maybe eventually be strong enough to take out the dawn, the, the boss of bosses and become the new dawn on the charts? Then you're then you would do like in boxing. So if you win the title in boxing, you're supposed to you're supposed to put your boxer into the championship slot, and then you are you don't play him anymore. You you make a new boxer and try to beat your old boxer if he's the champ. BCM is going to be the same way. If you defeat the boss of bosses, your boss becomes the new boss of Paradise City, and you can make a new gang and a new young mobster and try to knock out your old mobster, right? So kind of fun. Where it makes it perfect for book and perfect for travel is you don't have to change the ratings in the book. They're always the same. Every time you start a game, it's going to start the same. The only thing you need to worry about is your mobster's rating changing and some of the slots will get turned off or they'll change. And you just need to be able to note that in, in on a notepad that, hey, on the dockyards chart, number four is no longer active. Four becomes eight, right? And that's just a simple note that you know that when I'm on the dockyards and I roll four again, because I've already been here and beaten it, I've already beaten four on the dockyards it becomes eight or it becomes a choice, 
right? And that's where I get to make a strategic choice. Oh, cool. I rolled four. I've already done this. This can't ever happen again. So I'm going to use this opportunity to go to this territory and deal with this, right? So that's where your opportunity uh, to, to make decisions to move around territories and not do what you what you have to do, right? So uh, game flow for big country mobsters is pretty sweet. Uh, every turn begins with a game flow chart roll. That tells you what territory you're going to be in for this turn. It can either be your own territory, which is something you have to do as a Don, as a mobster with a neighborhood. You have to you have to meet clientele needs, right? You have to meet your clients. Plus, you protect your own territory. Deal with things going on in your own neighborhood. So what's cool about headquarters is it's generally easy to deal with, generally stuff that's not too challenging for your young mobster, but you can't benefit from it. You can get hurt by it, but you can't benefit from it. So if you succeed in your own neighborhood, you can't go up in rating. So working your own neighborhood, you don't get to benefit from it. You just get to maintain it and avoid losses, right? Okay. Then there's the coppers. That's the second piece. The coppers, if you roll up the coppers, well, the coppers are doing whatever the cops are doing, right? They're they're out busting heads. They're out, they're out trying to shut down the rackets. They're demanding higher bribes. Whatever the case may be, you got to roll them cops chart for that turn. Then the other eight things on the game flow chart are the neighborhoods, the other dons in their territory, the dockyards, the railroads, the Jewish quarter, the five points, right? They're all areas of Paradise City that you're going to be in, right? Engaging in an event. And then you'll roll that territory chart and that territory chart will tell you uh, what's happening. Uh, you are there to perform a hit, right? And there'll be a DR rating tied to that. So you're supposed to take out somebody in this neighborhood and it's a 1250 DR. I'm only rated 600. I'm at minus 600. This is a very dangerous hit. Most likely I'm going to fail. I'm going to suffer something. It's just, it just depends on how badly I fail. Do I bad, do I fail badly enough to go to prison? Do I fail badly enough to be killed? Do I fail badly enough that I just suffer a big hit in ratings? Right. So that's how Big Country Mobster works. And of course, if you succeed, you go up so many points based on your success, right? If you fail, you can lose points based on how bad you fail, or you can literally die, or you can literally go to prison, or you can be, your your gang can be badly, uh, uh, suffer tremendous losses, and you can become injured, which is a ne huge negative effect to your, bo uh, your mobster as well. So I think Big Country Mobster is going to be a lot of fun for I mean, I already know it is. I'm enjoying it in playtesting, but I think it'll be fun too for people who don't want to play just sports games. It'll be a very interesting break to play a mobster. And again, the games can go on infinitely. They can go on until your care until your mobster is so degraded he's forced out of Paradise City, ends up dead in prison, or becomes strong enough that you may eventually get a shot at the Don himself, right? Becoming the new kingpin of Paradise City. Uh, so keep your eyes out. That will be available in book form. I will make that available in paperback book or hardback book from Lulu as well, but it will probably also be a PDF for those who don't want to uh, uh, do the book. So my goal, I knew I was going to have um, Time Sports in a book, and I knew I was going to have Big Country Football's original uh, ideas in a book. And then um, Big Country Mobster was coming along so well. I said, you know what? There's no doubt I want to put this in a book form. Uh, Big Country Boxing, I thought about also putting out in book. The problem with Big Country Boxing is every single boxer on those charts can change. Every single boxer on those charts can actually leave the charts and new boxers can go on those charts. So if you're playing big country boxing correctly, when a boxer really degrades, you should take him and dump him, throw him off those charts and put a new boxer, roll up a new boxer and put him on there for your boxer to deal with or other boxers to deal with. You should be always changing your big country boxing universe, including all the boxers you fight, all the fights you fight, it's really not conducive to a book because, I mean, it's, the rules obviously are, and the, the chart is not really conducive to a book of this size, right? Because the chart would have to be in the book, landscaped, which would work, but uh, again, not ideal. And uh, so Big Country Boxing's just got too many variables that change literally every time you, you play. I don't think it's going to make... Um, now, obviously, sports games, if you're going to keep track of your teams and you're going to keep track of your standings and your records and you're going to play... You're going to need notebooks. You're going to need pencil and paper. But you could just make up two teams on the fly in a hotel room and grab a scrap paper, uh, a notepad from the hotel 
desk and drop a few dice and play a series of baseball just between two made-up teams and play a seven-game best-of-seven series between two baseball teams. Put that in, you know, put that in your uh, shirt pocket and carry it home. Put it in your notes or wad it up and throw it away, and you're off to dinner, right? So uh, they work for one game, one offs, or they work for series, or they work for complete careers. Boxing could work for just a quick fight, a bash, so that would work. But it's not what the intent of big country boxing is. Big country boxing was meant for you to manage boxers, be a boxer, and fight for a long time trying to build records and trying to get a shot at the title. And, of course, affecting all the boxers around you along, as along the way. So I just don't see big country boxing being ideal for book form. Uh, big country football, perfect for book form. You make your you make your teams, set your schedule, you know, put them on an index card or notebook paper. Uh, and the beautiful thing is on the back of the bo uh, book is the chart. So the chart's in the book, but it's also on the back of the book. So you just flip your book over, grab your dice, log your game, roll your dice, log your game. If you want to, and if you log your game, you can easily track stats because as you log the game, you're collecting stats. And you don't need a field, you don't need a football, you just need a way to log the game, keep the score, and play your 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 teams with 2D20 and a D6. But the great thing is the back of that book has the chart on it. So you just flip it on its face, and there's your, your game chart, there's your book chart or your uh results chart. So I think those are all really good for book sports games. Big country boxing is too dynamic, um, really, and there's too many charts. It would basically just be um charts that you'd constantly have to be re rewriting to change anyway, which you're you're gonna do even with the board game. So I just don't think it's ideal. Uh and big country mobster is perfect because the charts don't really change. What changes on the charts is some variables will be eliminated, some variables will be replaced, but you can just track that on your on your mobster's narrative sheet. You know, as you as you make notes of what your mobsters achieved along the way, you can make a note that, oh, we have eliminated the the rail yards. They're no longer a part of the game. We've we've actually dealt with the rail, rail yards. And so that's simple. Those are simple notes that you can just track on your character sheet. Right. OK. Anyway, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Again, it's uh, Fourth of July weekend. I hope everybody's had a great, safe uh, holiday thus far. Enjoy this four day break. I think it's a four day break for most people. Uh, certainly is for us, and uh, I am going to vote all of it to getting Big Country Mobsters finished. Uh, both of the sports books, and I think I've already said this, they're they're already submitted to the publisher. I'm waiting for proofs, and according to them, it's going to be anywhere from 10 to 17 days before I get the proof books. Once I get those proof books, if they're what I'm looking for and they're the quality I want, and there's not something I need to fix in them, like typos or whatever, uh, then I will I will trigger this for sale. If they are, I'll update the files and then I'll make them available for sale. And then I'll let, of course, the, uh, everyone here know if they're interested in purchasing it. So thank you. And uh, I will I may be back. I'm hoping today to to play some big country football when I have a break. Uh, and I will use the new book version of the game. So remember, uh, the time sports games and the big country book version will never be available in PDF. You will only be able to get them in book form. But I'll be able to, I may play BCF foot, uh, book version here uh, over the next couple of days and share that uh, six-team season league I have. Now, in the book is a 10-team. It's the same 10-team big country football universe that's in the time book. So in the time <clears throat> in the time book, uh, I, I give a 10, I give the 10-team big country football teams rated and written uh, with a, a description of every team, coach, owner. Those same descriptions are in the Big Country Football book. So every team's the same with those descriptions. However, the ratings, of course, are different for each game. So you'll get the Big Country Football universe in both books. Uh, just obviously, teams are rated differently for both for both things. I have a little six-team league that I play for my Big Country game that I have never shared on the channel. So I'll, next, I'll be playing the book version of Big Country Football, sharing those six teams. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.